Uh, we, we've, I think this is fairly unique, actually. And uh, we've looked at the, the Massachusetts model, but we've also, and they have had uh, uh, success in the sense of the number of citizens within the state of Massachusetts who now have some sort of coverage. Uh, you know, I think almost, if, if memory serves, some 75% of Massachusetts citizens who did not have health insurance now have it. That's a good thing. That's the goal where we want to get. And yet, the thing that I found objectionable personally about the Massachusetts plan was this mandate. Uh, you know, particularly the mandate that every person would have to have some sort of liability insurance. And so we started thinking outside the box with some innovative ideas. How can we get around the mandate requirement? Uh, and the way we do that is to have this inclusionary risk pool, uh, plus the fact that we want to roll state employees. I mean, there's 60,000 people right there that would begin the risk pool. Uh, so that's something that Massachusetts does not do. Uh, the Indiana plan is something I know Ed and others debated in this last session as far as dealing with the uh, those that didn't have insurance who, who aren't eligible for Medicaid, for instance. And so we looked at that model, but then too we made our we made this our own uh, as far as uh, you know what we want to do. And again, keep in mind that the bigger picture here, Mark, is Mr. Nixon is focusing just on one small subset of our state, and that is people that are no longer eligible for Medicaid. And his idea is an old-fashioned idea, let's put them back on the government rolls. Uh, we, and, and, and by the way, that's after 20 years in Jefferson City. That's his solution. Our solution is, let's address that population, that vulnerable population, but let's look at the 5.8 million Missourians in our state, and what can we do well above just that small population. Uh, that's why I think, again, this is bold, and, uh, and, and I know we're inundating you with information now, and uh, Kenny08.com, you're going to get chapter and verse and questions and answers, uh, hopefully uh, that you'll, and, and we'll continue this dialogue. Uh, and I suspect there will be those that, uh, that are not enamored of this idea. Let's have the debate, uh, because I think it's a debate worth having. There are too many Missourians whose health insurance is unaffordable. There are too many Missourians who don't have access to uh, health insurance right now. Uh, we're addressing not just that vulnerable population no longer eligible for Medicaid, but all Missourians. Uh, we really think that this is a bold step uh, in a new direction. Nixon's plan goes further than just the Medicaid restoration, though. He proposes for all of us who buy health insurance that plans be put on a state website so we can all compare for <coughs> consumers the different uh, costs and benefits of each plan. Right. What do you think about that idea? I, I think that, uh, and I will say that it, 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 he touts it as something fairly substantive with his plan. Uh, the voters will have to decide how substantive it is. Uh, we also think transparency is a good thing, and it is one of the additional items uh, that we have here uh, as far as, uh, so that one small provision that he has added, uh, we agree with that one small provision, but in our plan it is one small provision. So moment. you would require insurance companies, if they're doing business, offering health care in the state? We think transparency is important just for the reason you stated in your question, uh, Terry, and that is that uh, having information about what a procedure is going to cost before you have that procedure done. Time for one more. Do you know how do you know how much an individual would expect to save using HealthMax other than their employers? Again, part part of this is going to depend on a number of things. Uh, it is going to depend on what the health savings accounts. I did not give you detail, for instance, on what we would like to see as far as the deductible, uh, the catastrophic that's covered. Uh, again. My style of governance is one that's very collaborative. In fact, this, this document, this idea, uh, was done in a collaborative fashion, talking to a lot of experts in the field. Uh, I look forward to working with uh, the legislators uh, as far as what specifics we need to do. So I can't give you a, a direct number about what we're actually going to see, because part of it's going to be the state's uh, fiscal picture, too. Uh, but we think that uh, you know, we, we can pay for this plan uh, particularly the subsidies for the health savings accounts, 
again, and that's even a ballpark of $50 million, and we think that we can we can do that. Plus, yes, whatever the administrative function may be, uh, but again, it's it's going to be a modest. It's not we're not I'm not creating a new uh, a new agency. In fact, I think the Missouri Department of Insurance, Division of Insurance, uh, will will ultimately have sway over this. So I can't give you a, a figure right now because we haven't. Set the, the, you know, where we think that the what the and that'll depend on the bids that come in from the insurance companies. It will be. Or, it, it absolutely will be. Be. A lot of factors. What happens to the state employees who opt out of this? Do they remain on the Missouri Consolidated yes. Health Care Plan? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you all.